Well, in other news today, the vice president's house has 20,000 new residents this week as the second lady unveiled a new beehive on the grounds. Sarah Mock in Washington, D.C. has the story. The Pence family may have left Indiana behind, but second lady Karen Pence brought some Indiana tradition with her. While we lived in the governor's residence, I decided to set up the beehive in our flower and vegetable garden. That beehive was a great success. So now that we're living in another home that has wonderful space for flowers and vegetables, I thought it would be only natural to do the same thing here. This announcement and the introduction of a hive containing about 20,000 bees on the lawn of the vice president's home brings the critical decline of pollinators like the honeybee into the spotlight. There are many reasons uh, that we're seeing these losses. They range from the syndrome known as colony collapse disorder to stress caused by factors such as parasites and pests, transportation and poor nutrition. Secretary Sonny Perdue and his wife Nancy joined the second lady to applaud the USDA's work to understand and protect pollinators. In cooperating with our land grant universities and all of our nonprofits and uh, our agricultural research service, USDA is trying, doing our best to determine what are those causes for bee decline. But Mrs. Pence said, its affects over a third of our crops. In addition to research, the USDA has spent more than three decades encouraging pollinator protection through the Farm Service Agency's CRP programs. And we have a specific practice established for pollinators, uh, provides um, mixed, se mixed seeds that benefits pollinator crop, pollinators like bees, and it's estimated that about almost over half of our CRP acreage has pollinator practices that benefit uh, bees and wasps and other animals. Farmers can get involved in CRP pollinator programs by visiting their local FSA office. But Purdue doesn't expect farmers to do all the work to recover bee populations alone. Just in the spirit of democracy, let's all get involved and do our part, whether it's planting the plants or hosting a beehive just as Mrs. Pence has done here. Purdue's words are a rallying cry for American farmers, as initiatives like the Second Lady's Beehive remind the public that they can be a part of preserving America's agricultural way of life. In Washington, Sarah Mock, RFD TV News. And the Secretary of Agriculture took this opportunity to declare the week of June 20th to be National Pollinator Week. Well, meteorologist Tim Ross has the latest update to your weather forecast. That's coming up at 10 past the hour.